In June of this year, volunteers from the New York State Nurses Association visited Brazil to participate in the first medical mission to this South America country. Despite the universal health care system in Brazil, some regions are underserved due to lack of doctors and nurses that don't wish to be relocated. Upon arriving in Recife, the local nurses union were at the airport for a warm welcome to Naisna delegates. Next day, Naisna's team, with the support and participation of local nurses, members of SEEP, left the first day of medical mission at one of the occupied buildings by the MTST, Homeless Workers Movement. Many mothers with the children came to be seen by the volunteers, nurses from Naisna and SEEP, and the doctors Michael Tuger and Antonio Washington that joined the mission. And it was very um, gratifying and knowing that, yes, we provided service, but how grateful the people were and how um, generous they were and um, how um, caring they were um, in receiving us. Our union wanted to make everyone feel included, that it was just humanity that we have to reach out as human beings to help each other and that kindness is so important. Both delegations, Naisnas and SEEP, visit the office of the State Health Secretary, Dr. Irene Costa, that welcomed the mission. The secretary also requested from both organizations to come back next year. I also would like to thank the uh, Brazilian Nurses Association, CIPE, uh, of the great help that they did. And also the people of Brazil are just wonderful and very warming people. In Recife, the state capital, Naisna's volunteers had the opportunity to visit the Women's Hospital, a public hospital dedicated not only for labor and delivery, but also providing psychological and social support to the women of the region. Another outstanding visit was to the public hospital Barão de Lucena. The nurses had the opportunity to visit the institution guided by its general director, Dr. Carla de Albuquerque. Before the team of volunteers traveled to the countryside to initiate two days of intensive medical care, they were recognized at the State Congress by State Representative Heriberto Medeiros, who gave a speech thanking the group for their services in the Brazilian territory. The nurse Marion Parkins and Director of Missions Pedrito Guijano represented Naisna receiving the official welcome by the state authorities. With the teams lodged in the cities of Santa Cruz do Capibaribe and Kumaru, the nurses from Naisna and SEEP came together to serve 600 people in two days of medical care to the local population. It was very humbling. Um, my opinion is everybody in the healthcare field should do missionary work to give them a new perspective on what what it actually means to give medical care. It was wonderful. I feel like I made a great contribution to um, Brazilian people, um, providing good health care, um, teaching, and informative information that will help them and um, for a long time. My impression pretty much was it met my expectations, uh, if not more than I um, anticipated. Um, it was a very uh, meaningful trip for me and um, um, it was quite, it was very fulfilling as well. Doctors Manuela Mendes and Michael Martins also joined the mission helping to take care of those who came to seek medical assistance. I found this mission as different and many places we visit, what I realized that um, the nurses 
and the people in the community receive us so much with a warming heart and it's look like they don't use to see people coming to bring mission to them. They were so happy to interact with us and I am, I am very pleased. I'm a nurse from Kings County Hospital working in recovery room. I call myself so fortunate to be able to be part of this mission. I count Meisner, my president Judy Gonzalez and executive producer Jill and you know the board of directors for you know combining these trips medical mission to different parts of the world you know it, it enlightens us to see the different cultures and to meet with the trade unions um, and visiting other hospitals and see how they run and you know just to serve the underserved population you know giving back to people it's it's uh, it's what we, we are here for. To celebrate the visit to Pernambuco, SIP nurses graciously gave each one of NISA's volunteers a plaque saying thank you for coming to Pernambuco State. From Pernambuco, the team traveled to the neighbor state of Alagoas for one more day of a medical mission in Brazil. They visit the city of União dos Palmares a place that markets everyone in a unique way. Their patients were the last descendants of one of the most important national heroes, Zumbi dos Palmares, an Afro-Brazilian who fought for the end of slavery in Brazil. The community came in large number to meet the visitors and to be seen by Nisna's nurses and Dr. Tuber. Well, uh, Nisna is doing such a wonderful job and I hope in future they will add more countries and more communities to the list of what they've already started doing. I think Nisna should Im improve more, um, expand this program as much as they can um, because I believe that several other places in Brazil and other countries need this kind of uh, programs that we have. I believe NISNA should include uh, missionary work for a long time. This not only puts NISNA name out across the world as doing good, as well as just, just providing good nurses to people that is in need. Um, I think that NISNA started this initiative and they can continue this initiative and this mission so they can help all of the people around the world and to show that there is people who care about them and who have the resources to help them and provide health care for them because they can't have access to simple resources like medication. And I hope more members participate. Uh, because this is a real great thing to do and this trip was awesome. This first mission to Brazil definitely consolidates the importance of the pioneering and unique program that NISA carries out in various parts of the world. Not only for excellence in service, but because it involves local associations that also go through the same difficulties and struggles of NISA and its members. All those who went to Brazil without exceptions as well as the local nurses concluded the mission with the certainty that it is through the exchange of learning, knowledge and above all compassion that one can increasingly be in solidarity with the causes that genuinely matters. Ronnie Carvello, reporting from Brazil.